When the moon turns red, ancient people believed something cosmic, something ominous was unfolding. In China, a dragon devouring the moon. People clanged pots to scare it away. Incas saw a jaguar attack. Greeks said it was a sign from the gods. Hindus, a demon called Rahu swallowing it whole. And in the Arctic, the moon chased by a wolf. Some feared it, others saw it as sacred silence. Let's swap legend for physics. This is a lunar eclipse. Earth lines up perfectly between the sun and the moon. The moon slips into Earth's shadow, partially first, then fully. But Earth's atmosphere bends light, just like it does at sunset. Blue light scatters away. Red light curves around, paints the moon. Same reason sunsets are orange is why the moon glows red. Color depends on what's in our air. Dust, ash, pollution, they deepen the red. Astronomers even rate the redness on something called the Danjong scale. It's totally safe to watch. No glasses needed. And blood moon? Just a nickname. If it's a super blood moon, it means it's also a super moon. Closer, bigger, brighter. Turns out, no dragons. Just atmosphere, bending light into cosmic art. Next time the moon blushes, you'll know why.